Live in Western Oregon, this is NBC 16 News at 530. First at 530, residents at an assisted living facility are at a loss as they learn that the facility is about to shut down. Good evening and thanks for joining us for NBC 16 News at 530. I'm Alan Matthews. Where will they go? Dozens of veterans and senior citizens at Harmony Active Living learned that from staff that their building is being shut down and that they could potentially be out on the street. NBC 16's Rigo Aguilera visited the facility to learn more. Senior residents, many of whom have disabilities, were blindsided with the threat of homelessness after hearing from staff that their living facility in Canyonville will close. Staff at Harmony Active Living received the notice on February 9th. The notice declared that their building, the Emmert Canyonville LLC building, is facing immediate closure. The notice also says that due to expenses, the building can no longer remain in operation. 55 residents live here on site. Staff are looking for volunteers to help give the care residents need on a daily basis. That number includes the 10 caregivers who live on site. Staff say there have been multiple attempts to shut off the power due to missing payments for the building. The power and other necessities have remained on due to the concerns over resident health. Former assistant manager Star Netherton is still working despite being laid off. She believes all of the residents will be completely homeless if the building gets shut down. They are potentially making 55 people out on the streets with nowhere to go. And that's something that this area cannot afford. We cannot afford to have these veterans or these senior citizens 98 years old being left out on the streets with nowhere to go. Seniors in the building say the closure was a horrible decision for both the staff and residents who rely on each other to make things work. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You're talking about, you know, putting people out of work, first of all. You're talking about 40 people that are going to be homeless, that are vets, that are seniors, that have worked their lives to try to have a place to live. Staff are looking for volunteers that have experience in maintenance, cooking, and housekeeping. They're also seeking food to help feed the residents on a daily basis. Reporting in Roseburg, I'm Marie Gragulera. Now we have reached out to Emmert Canyonville LLC owner Terry Emmert for comment. We have not received a response. To learn more about the closure, visit our website at NBC16.com.